Juvenile football is the bedrock of Ghana football. Juvenile football is, is the foundation of Ghana football. That's where you are giving the basic tuition of football. We started from this level and then we got to um, where we are today. You can't play good football at the highest level if you don't get to the juvenile level right. When I was a player, I played for a team called Bakus, a juvenile club. Our game against Kids Babies. And they are unbeaten. And by then, if you see maybe a juvenile club wearing anklet, leg hang, that anklet, that rubber anklet, then that means they are rich. And we won that game by a long goal. And I was I was the central defender and I was I did the man of the match. I will never forget that game because they were topping the league and we were at the bottom. And they are unbeaten. They are unbeaten. So when we won that match away, it was like a big news all over. My time, I played for uh, me and you babies before I was transferred to Kowloon Babies. Kowloon Babies, that as that as at that time was the, one of the best uh, coast clubs in the country. Um, so they managed to buy all the best players from other clubs to make sure they have a very good uh, solid team. Uh, other clubs like uh, Mighty V3, they have Steven Apia, they have. They have uh, quality players there, so the rivalry between uh, uh, Kowloon and Mighty V3, you know, they, and also it comes down to individual players. In my team, uh, for me, I think I have my fans that comes to watch me. Uh, Godwin Atram have his fans that comes to watch him. Steven Apia, if you're playing against uh, uh, Mighty V3, Steven Apia too have his fan base. So uh, uh, before the game even starts, you see arguments going on and. Uh, the community before we even go on the on, on the pitch. Player like Amwikwe, he was playing for BT International. So, and you see me, myself and Amwikwe, we all grew up in Buko, Jamestown. Amwikwe have his fans, I also have my fans. So if I'm playing, Kowloon is playing against uh, BT International. You can see, build up to the game, throughout the week, you can see people arguing and it tends to fight and all that. But at the end of the day, the pitch has to show. Those things are something that, uh, you know, motivate some of us and help us to to, to improve in, 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 in everything that we did that time. During my, my, my days, you know, um, I was very, very deadly, you know. Um, I started from the post level, so it boosted my confidence. Even when I came to the Premier League, I the confidence was already there. You know, you could see the atmosphere, you see the fans very, very close to the field, you know. So when they graduate and they go to the Premier League level, the confidence is already there because their fans, the fans are very, very close to them. They, they, they won't panic. You know, this is how we we started from the coast level. We ran the juvenile leagues, and for our four or five years now, we only play friendly games. We don't play any competitive uh, 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 games. So when we heard that the FA that they are going to launch the juvenile league, is a, a big, a big, big good news for us and a big relief, not for only the RFA chairman and the district chairman, but to uh, the consumers, those who consume juvenile football. It is one of the things that I'm so happy about for this current administration, when we got the information that grassroots and juvenile level is going to be their main hub. One thing that we're also going to do is to make sure that the coaches have licenses that gives them the, um, the requisite experience to be able to develop the skills for us. So we have also decided that at the grassroots level we are going to um, build capacity for the administrators, the coaches and everyone involved in the game so that they can also impact in our case. Why should we invest in them? We need to invest in them because they are the ones who are going to build the foundation for Ghana football. At that time we have coaches that, uh, uh, for me I think, uh, they are very talented people. You know. Uh, that time they've not even gone through coaching courses, but there are certain things that they tell us in football that we go on the pitch and then we, we meet those things. You know, I'll give uh, the so rest in peace coach um, uh, Taya Jimmy, coach CK from Kowloon Babies, he's still 
uh, in Kaole Bebe. He's someone that uh, even showed me how to move on the pitch. The unique thing that I see at the juvenile level is you observe from the supporters saying that this boy, this girl is playing like an adult. And the most interesting thing is when the players call, you see the fans going on the field, chasing the player, and then it brings that feeling back, you know, when I was playing the first level. And I'm sure we will make it happen. When you see a player who has played for a coast club, at least you will see his upbringing, the way he even play on the field of play. You will see that, yes, this is a player who has played a coast club before. For me, I think it's something that uh, helped myself and some of my colleagues a lot. That's what made me like to, to understand the game well, to, to pick all the technique that I had in my football career. That's where, where it started. That's how come some of us, we had the opportunity to uh, have the call up to the national under 15. That's what put us in the highest of Ghanaians. We need the support of uh, Ghanaians to push this thing. Um, because Ghana is a football nation. We've got quality players. We've got young, hungry players who are coming. We've got players who are looking up to us, who wants to do something in the future, you know, to help their families and um, everybody. You know? So it's, it's very good. And I'm sure we will revive it. At long last. We have gotten back to what we used to admire. We will see great, great players from, from, from this tournament. So excited. I can't wait to uh, see them play again. Uh, I will be more than happy to, to be part of it. Uh, anytime I've been called upon by the FA to go and help, even if it's the coaches or any part that they believe I can help, I'll be so excited to join because it's, it's more of a give back. Now that it's beginning this way, I think the love for juvenile football already has begun and we pray and we hope that it continues and grow into greater heights. Bring back the love. Bring back the love! <laughs>